Happy Strew Puffs. Welcome back to Strudel Reviews. It's your girl Strudel. You can tell I've been gone for a little while. It's because my last video, you can tell I was not, I was not having it. Because my allergies were so bad. I lost my voice. It got so bad I lost my voice. But now I'm feeling a lot better. And you can tell I sound a lot better. And today I went to my local Walmart. Because... You know, when you order things for store pickup that are necessities, you tend to get, you tend to go check out, like, the toy section and stuff, because, you know, because, <laughs> you know, it's a necessity when you go to Walmart when you're a collector. <laughs> so, they still had Gretchen Stripes, and I was so happy because she was my she's my second favorite of the line. I have Parker Scorch. I have just I ordered Parker Scorch off Amazon because he's not available in my area, so he should be here by Wednesday, maybe Monday, depending on my luck. So let's get into it with Miss Gretchen. You can see she's got like the typical. Kind of like, hmm, her eyebrows are thinner than a lot of the na na na's. Hold on one sec. Yeah, her eyebrows are thin. They're not as thin as Lila Lamb's eyebrows, but they're thin. <clears throat> and then you can see she's got the same green eyes that Rebel Dare has. Sorry, I have all my na-na-na, the other teens off to this side, so I'm just trying to look and see who she is the closest eye color to, and it is definitely Rebel Dare. They have the same green emerald eye. You can tell she has, like, a natural red lipstick. I think it's the same color as Amelia Outback's. Give me a sec. Yeah, it's pretty close, if not the same exact color as Amelia Outback's, um, lips. <coughs> Sorry, my allergies are st still haven't gone away entirely, so pardon me if I do any coughs or sneezes, it's just the allergies. And you can tell, like, here she's got this little... Ribbon with a couple of, um, I'm trying to think of what it's called, but it looks very much like trash. What? It looks like some kind of trash, but I'm not sure what it is. And then you look at this other wrist and you can see that she's got a bracelet made out of soda tabs. And then she's got a bracelet that's an actual fork. And I need to check her underarm. Not her underarm. Oh, you can see the other teens. Um, trying to think of what this would be called, but I know it's made of garbage because that's her whole aesthetic. And she's got printed on socks with little raccoons on them. And her little printed on underwear looks like, um, I'm trying to think, looks like cardboard packaging. And it's even got, like, the fragile label, and it's got, like, the labels all on it. You can go check out my Instagram story at strudel underscore collects. So you can see all of the different screen printed on underwear in depth. Because I highlight the unboxing process there, so you can go see it all from start to finish. And then, like, we'll get into her outfit. You can see her little top looks like one of those Chinese takeout, or as the British say, takeaway bags. And instead of it saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, it says, na, 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 na. And then you can see, like, right there is the little handle for the bag. And it's just a normal t-shirt material. Although I love it. It's so cute. And then her skirt is pleather. Is a pleather material. 
But you can tell it's supposed to look like a garbage bag. Because she's got this. And just the little can. Just like a little soda can. Or maybe like soda bottle. Like the little plastic rings that hold soda cans and bottles together. And then here she's got like a bag of chips. That says na na na. Which looks as the shape of a little bear. No, actually looks more like Mickey Mouse. But it's supposed to be a bag of Doritos. And then, like, you can tell, like, it's even got, like, little ribbon drawstrings to look like an actual trash bag. And then here, it's a bow. But it's supposed to look like she tied the trash bag around her waist. And then we can get down to her shoes. And you can see these are just typical... Or maybe not typical. They look like typical tan and brown work boots with red stripe, with red laces, and like silver aglet holes and black sole. No, that that those are light brown soles. No, I did not say you could. Sorry, I don't know what I stood her in. But I'll clean it up later. And then you can see, like, the back of her shoes actually have little raccoon tails. And they are fuzzy raccoon tails. Oh, I love it. And then her hair, you can tell, is the same, like, whitish blonde as Carmen Linda's. But it has brown highlights in it, which is pretty cool. But you do want to be careful, because when you first take her out of the box, you're going to notice, like, the back of her head has a, like, the way they split, separated her hair in the box. She has a giant bald spot in the back of her head, so you're gonna want to comb her hair, like, brush her hair the way you want it styled to make sure that there's not a massive bald spot in the head, and I don't know why they could jinker the hair in the package the way they do. It's a little weird. And then we can show you her little brush. You can tell it's kind of like a black, maybe like a little bit metallic, a little bit matte brush. And you can see they got little raccoon ears at the top. And on the bottom, the handle's the little raccoon tail, which is adorable. <coughs> and then, oops, sorry, I'm just trying to grab the package. <laughs> Poor packaging fell apart. It's okay, I'm not keeping it. Although I feel bad I tore off, like, all the information. You can see, like, it's the same old packaging as, like, the other Series 2 dolls have been so far. You can see it says, na na na, surprise teens. It says, Gretchen Stripes. Has, like, a smaller image of her on the box. And it says, Series 2, and it's the international packaging. And I love the international packaging. And then, oops. And then on the back, it says, Na 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 Surprise Teens. It has a full body image of Gretchen Stripes. And it has Lila, Alaska, Amelia, and Parker. Smaller images on the back. And her says, Fashion is in the eye of the beholder, which is amazing advice. <laughs> it's almost as amazing as Coco Fun Sparkles in a flock of pigeons be the flamingo. And I absolutely stand that. And then again, it says the Na 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 Surprise Teens, and you can see, like, the back of the packaging is very similar to Series 1, with the same pinkish-purple color. I'm gonna just say it's magenta, and you got, like, the heart, the paw print, the heart, the paw print, there's a kitten, there's a kitty somewhere. It's like a kitty face somewhere. And then it has the N-A for Na Na Na. And then on the front, like, it's the same thing, but it's got bunnies and bears. And I'm sure there's kittens somewhere. Just to try to em emulate the original packaging. And then with her hat, you can see it's a little raccoon hat. Like, it's got, like, the same, like, markings that the top of a raccoon head would have. And then the tail is the same exact colors as the raccoon tail, as a raccoon's tail with like the black and gray stripes. 
going all along down the tail. Hold on a minute. I have to forgot to pop this thing open because I was so excited to get her out of the box. I forgot to pre-set up for her review because I was so excited. Hold on one second. Oh boy. How did I forget about these old things? Well, tags are difficult to open. All right, I got her tag open, and it says "Na Na Na Surprise Teens," and it tells you what series it is on the back of the tags. And hers says, if I can get it open, hers says "Gretchen Stripes Birthday April 2nd. Hey, that's a day before someone's birthday. I know. Cool. And then it's going to be, um, and it's going to say fashion is in the eye of the beholder, and it's going to say the same thing, but in French, since it's the international variant. Although I'm very bummed that most of my series one dolls, her, 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 and her, came with just the strictly American packaging. While well, he was the only one that came with the international packaging, and I was so disappointed. Meanwhile, most of Series 2, we are four for fives. Four for five, I mean, of the international packaging, which I love. And then, like, once I get the Slumber Party teens, I'll have to see if it's strictly English packaging or if it's also international packaging. Those will also be here sometime later this week because I had come into a little extra money. So I was like, might as well go ahead and buy them now because I see that Mila Rose is starting to become unavailable everywhere. And I was like, I don't want to wait her out too long and not be able to get her. So I just went ahead and got them and I'll be able to review them. And then we'll just show you Piper, Alex, Samantha, Carmen, Quinn. I need to fix his hair again. Rebel, Coco, Alaska, Lila, Amelia, and Gretchen. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one, which is hopefully going to be tomorrow with Shadow, because I've been meaning to do her review all week, but I've been kind of pushing her back because I wanted to make sure I sounded not like... I was dying to actually sit there and thoroughly do a review. So with that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!